You remember we got to play for Theo Hustable? That was really cool, man. That was awesome. That was the same time we did the NAMM show. Dude, NAMM was sick! It was. We had like the greatest show after Ace of Spades. Yeah, Ace of Spades was sick. <laughs> I know, we got... We got like no sleep though, you remember that? <laughs> like living off Red Bulls? <laughs> living off Red Bulls? It was awesome. Dude, I loved, I loved that. I loved that drive home. I, I remember all of it. <laughs> I thought I could do it. <laughs> There's only one way we could <laughs> If other people could see it. <laughs> Did we save it? Uh, is it recording? Is it recording? Yes, sir. Oh, I look like an idiot. Uh, yeah. Thanks, cousin. Yeah. So what are you guys about to do, man? Um, <laughs> I, I grew up for a big chunk of my life watching Theo Huxtable and his family on TV. So, like... He entertained me, and hopefully, well not hopefully, but I get the opportunity right now to try and entertain Theo Huxley. So it's coming full circle. Now was it just me or were you starstruck? Like I was kind of starstruck. I was. Like I couldn't think of his name, I was like, uh, uh. Well see, like I saw him and I and I recognized him, but I was like, that can't, that's not him. He's not right here in front of me. Exactly, not to mention here, like just it doesn't make any sense. Yes I did. I did, I wanted to go up to him and be like, oh, no! I'm not <laughs> lying, Julian thinks I'm lying, but I'm not lying. That wasn't your time. No, is, I, uh, is, uh, I did think he was Bill Cosby, though. Oh, wait, I gotta tune around here. Never mind, screw that shit. Or shove it into the high end, but you can stand here and talk at a 90 to 100 dB all day long. No issues. Yeah. Oh, it can be. I'll go out and come back in again. Okay. I got to go. I want to change the strings on my acoustic a long time ago. Hey, you got a quarter? Like maple. I didn't know. I didn't hide it. Look at how scared. Look at how hungry he is. So he just wants that donut so bad. It's my hungry face. This is life right here, fellas. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. What it means when you we slept on our gear. <laughs> what it like. We're literally buried in it. I feel like I'm in my room. Hardware in my back. Sector. We're heading into Sector Guitar. I know I'm the drummer. But I like guitars. I like guitars. I like them. It's gonna be sins. It, it was this was like a Joker, like he had the Joker one, mm -hmm. and this just he just put this on, and then we're gonna get that out. finished and stuff. Yeah. Who's? I, I don't know if I should touch any of these at all. That's so fine. I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, other Hellcat necks and all this other good stuff. You know, so this is where he actually builds his sections and stuff. 
That was crazy. Okay. <laughs> and shit, the necks are a lot thinner, and they have a satin finish on the back now. So they're a lot faster, they're uh, a lot more closer to piping ice, <laughs> as far as the, the neck profiles. So. Yep, this is the, uh, the Schecter uh, Dandonian Ultra. It's pretty darn nice, as you can see. She's all cleaned up. She's all shined up real nice. Mm -hmm. Schechter was very, was very nice and uh, let me borrow this for the uh, NAM show, 2012. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. It's a beautiful guitar and can't wait to use it. It has a pink cancer handle on it. Can we get the dust off this case and get it cleaned up for Chris before he loads it? All right. We're going to bring you the money. Um, <laughs> so I would like Jan to do something jab, sir. for you guys. I know that they're doing good, but I think you should save up your your wishes and let me know, you know, like we just got a new guitar, a new yeah. drum set or whatever, and yeah, let me know. I, I, you know, we'll figure out <laughs> something. This is something that Jan cooked up, and I don't think it ever occurred to him that anybody, you know, that there's a quid pro quo. Oh, and keep in mind, there are three levels of this. So there is another bottom level below us. Three levels? This hole. What? And then upstairs, you've got like all the big boys, like Fender and Taylor. You've got uh, Gibson up there. I mean, all the big boys are up there. They get their own room. Damn. A sample as if we were going to be. Good. I got dizzy, that's why. I was, like, oh. I was gonna say, because everybody was loving you. Like, they were like, Julian, you're like, ah! <laughs> did I do that? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I did. I no, like, all I heard was screams for you when they called your name. I know, man. They're, they're, they're loving love, the energy. They love the brown guy. <laughs> Uh, Cousin Tito uh, said this place was awesome, especially the fries. So that's I got some fries, got the bacon roadhouse, roadhouse, and I was gonna get one taco. And then the guy's like, 
you get two for a dollar. So I was like, yeah. And then he asked him, is this the Jumbaco deal? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not the Jumbaco. What the hell's a Jumbaco? Jumbaco. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want some ketchup. I love some ketchup. They better give me some ketchup. I'm going to ask for some ketchup. We'll see about that. We're getting ready. We're, we're getting ready to go to our show, Ace, Ace of Spades. We, uh, we're just trying to get all our gear loaded up into the bus right now. So, and uh, we're all, if it seems like we're all running around because we're on caffeine, it's probably because we got home at like six in the morning uh, this morning uh, from LA. And uh, so we're all just kind of running around trying to get everything together. We had to click, get all our money, ticket money situation figured out. And uh, I think we're, I think we're in the home stretch, like white flag waving. Not a surrender flag, I'm talking like last lap. So as soon as we get this stuff into the bus, then I think we're good. This town. They talk. 